what's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new as you've seen from the thumbnail we're going to be reviewing the razor rock hawk from italian barber v2 so we're looking at here and we're going to be going with it in the switch position it has a third use feather in it. Second or third, I really don't remember. Brush, we're gonna be going with the Razor Rock. Four hundred and brass coated in powder coated in black, flat black I guess. So it's like a twenty six mil, I believe regular pull soft knot so synthetic of course soap of choice today was recess I wanted to go back to the second grade so yeah so what we're going with the matching splash this is discontinued but you can get it for maggards I've seen it on maggards for 17 USD if you're interested in it I pick it up. I highly recommend it if you're into those types of soaps. The soap, uh, the soap consists of oh man, it consists of sweet grass, dirty sweet grass, dirt clay, uh, cement. Evergreen and Vitvitter. And that's just as I get it off the scent and those in that order. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the specs of the razor. Like I said, Razor Rock Switch V2 from Italian Barber, $39.99 USD. That's from their site. Um, <clears throat> you can get it in the silver or black. I believe it's a matte black, which I about got, but I was like, I got too much matte black. Anyway, comes in 1.5 ounce. The handle length is 100 millimeters. The handle diameter is 12 millimeters. It is made from CNC milled aluminum, corrosion resistant 6066. Aluminium. It's a light, which makes it light and durable. And that's all I have on that. So, if you want to know any more, go to italianbarber.com. So right now, I'm going to switch this out. It's very easy. Switch. The switch. Yeah. Really good name. Okay, we're going to screw this knob off the side. For anyone that's never used a switch, I do have the V1 and um gold metal or whatever gold dark gold or whatever it's called anyway all right there's the blade okay we don't need to do all that but <clears throat> i'm gonna simply hold it like that vertical and screw it on then well, you might have wanted to put the uh, this piece on first, but I don't really give a shit. You're just going to screw that right back on where you normally screw on your DE handle. Tighten that down. Tighten this down. Check your reveal. Perfect. So, there you go. All right, let's get into the lathering. I did use the PAA glow cube, but not as a pre-shave. I use it as a wash to clean out the pores and such. So, one moment, this is getting on my nerves. Okay, 
Sorry about that. All right, back. Hope everyone's having good days and shitty shape. I mean, hor I mean, good shaves. I know everybody says that, and I'm gonna continue to say it. You know why? I don't know. Just seems like something good to say. What else are you gonna say? <laughs> I've used this brush maybe twice. It's a really good brush. If you don't like heft in your brush, I don't recommend this. It's quite heavy. Um, and I got it on a Black Friday sale. They're not expensive anyway, but they're really well made. And yeah, I recommend them to everybody. So the bowl I'm going with here is the 3D printed by my buddy Farrell. And uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the design. It's not new, but I requested that color. Anyway, let's get into this and watch me cut myself up probably. Haven't used a switch, razorine. I do not own a razorine, but I haven't used a switch in a while. So let's <laughs> let's laugh. Really smooth, actually. I don't know if it's the blade or what. I have used this in normal DE mode, but first time using it in switch mode. Pretty good. Like the lightness of it. Very easy to use if you've used one before. Uh, what they did with the V2 is they cut out a lot of the metal around here because people were complaining that. Uh, let's see if I can get mine. They couldn't get under the nose good enough. This is the V1, it's the V2. See how much metal is under that one and this one, maybe. So yeah, but I do like the V1. Uh, it's not my favorite razor, but it does shave and it takes no prisoners. So let's go, let's finish the shave. Summer break soaps. It's really good in my opinion. If you've never used them, I highly recommend it. Here's their ingredient list. Pause that if you're interested. And that's a seventeen dollars so four ounces. I really can't complain about that <clears throat> for the ingredients that are in this soap. Just like a few other brands, I'm not going to mention. But okay, we're going to do this here. All right.
Razor comes in at $39.99 USD, which I think is a great price for it. It's gonna last you the rest of your life as long as you take care of it. Um, so I'll go into the nose here. First pass. Really nice. Already knew that without rinsing. I knew it was a good pass. It's good for our second and final pass. I'm try to go against the growth with this. Soap really brings out the um For me, childhood memories of first, second grade, even kindergarten, possibly the clay is really prominent for me. And the cement, what else did I, oh, I don't forget. <clears throat> Grass is there, the dirt's kind of there. And the vetiver and the evergreen kind of round it all out. For me, it's really nice. I'd go to Maggers and grab one if that's that was a good time in your life before it's gone. Because summer breaks discontinued it. So I've used it quite a few times. I say and it's a very it's very well blended as well so go against the growth <laughs> Pretty hard to do, honestly, if you're not used to it. It's almost like a straight razor, in a way. A straight razor that has a good edge, that is. Which I haven't came by yet, for me. Which I would love to. I just don't have that. I don't know. I'm not gonna explain it. Maybe they're sharp, but they're not. <clears throat> Maybe they're buttery smooth, but just not sharp enough. I don't understand. I don't knock any of the honers, but it's just not no good for me and my face.
been trying a, a, a cross grain J hook on my normal shapes, um, which I just did there, but I've gotten really good results with them with that. lately mm, I got myself up here yeah got myself oh well who cares Great shape though, can't complain. Skills need to be honed, but besides that, got pretty good shape. <clears throat> Ride the cap, that's my, uh, <laughs> advice for somebody that's never used a razor ring, just ride the cap out. Should be all right. BBS. Let's go with the splash and call it a shave. All right, here we go. Summer breaks, recess. A good shake. <clears throat> Here's the ingredients. Well, I'd rather not show you that sideways, <laughs> especially while I'm about to apply it. Out of the aftershave, I get a lot of evergreen and vetiver, which makes sense. I really enjoy this whole set. I think Summer Breaks, if they ever see this for creating this scent, um, it really brings back a lot of memories for me. And um, thank you. sell this set I didn't I knew it was gonna be good but I didn't know it was gonna be this good for me it's a really nice really nice scent. you get a little bit of the clay in the background of the evergreen and vetiver too um, sounds kind of nasty to some people but to me it's great and thank you again here a little bit here on the jawline not much and yeah it's really nice so we went with the feather blade with the razor rock 
switch V2. And silver, highly recommend it. Something new, something different. Went with the computer printed feral bowl here. I had a make me and Joker purple. Used pretty much of the soap. There's not, there's very little bit in the bowl. Probably don't care, but anyway. Next is, uh, mm, what is next? Recap this brush, and if you're still with me, thank you very much. Um, really appreciate you guys. Trying to keep this under 25 minutes, which will happen for sure, but. This is the brush. Like I said, it's it's really heavy, but it's Razor Rock 400 from Italian Barber with a soft knot. So really enjoyed that too. So get out of here, and you guys can uh, enjoy the rest of your Thursday or Friday or whenever you see this. All right, guys, peace out.